Hey guys, so I'm here today to show you the correct way and the easiest and the less aggravating way to get off the A-Core push valve water valves. So obviously you need to take it off for whatever reason. If it's like me, you bought a new faucet, you want to switch it out, but it's not compatible with the crimped on hose. So the handful of videos that I found, and I only found a couple on YouTube, that's why I'm making this video, suggests that you can turn this thing counterclockwise and it'll unscrew off the line. That's yes and no. If you have a metal line, it should screw right off. But nine times out of the ten, most of the builders are going to have it on the PVC or the, the CVC, whatever it is, the plastic, the plastic lines. If it is on the plastic lines, when you try and twist this thing off, it's going to dig into that line and it's going to damage all of it. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to get this thing off and you it's extremely simple and there's not much you need <clears throat> so all you need is you need to go to Lowe's you need to get you a line and tube cutter or a pipe and tube cutter this one was I think an eighth is the eighth inch to uh, inch and seven eighths one it was about nine bucks at Lowe's there's nothing to it and then a pair of snips that's all you need so all you've got to do, and you have to forgive me, I'm missing this part because I threw it away before I thought about doing a video for you guys, but when this thing is on your line, all you want to do is this collar right here, you know, it's about that, that long, is you want to take that cutter and you're just going to cut it right in the middle. And you go all the way around. Go a few turns, tighten it down, go a few turns until it cuts through it. And you'll know when it cuts through it because it's going to make a cracking sound. And don't freak out when you hear that cracking sound because that's just this... It's just cutting through the collar right there. So once you cut that off, the piece that you cut, all you got to do is you just slide it up out the way, okay? And then this piece right here will just pull right off your line. And when you, once you get this piece off, what's going to be left is this. This is the shark, shark mouth or shark whatever the hell they call it. This is what's holding all that on. This is what's digging into that line and keeping you from pulling it off. And it looks about like that. You've got the two metal clips. Hold on, let me see if I can get it. So you've got the two metal clips that's sandwiching the white washer, about like that. And that's where your snips come in. All you got to do is just snip the end of it. As you can see, like I did right there. You pull off, just pull it off. No damage to your line. Once you get that off, the piece, that, the piece of the collar that you cut off, you just slide it off. And that's it. That's all you got to do to get these things off. It took me about, I don't know, about five or 10 minutes to do two of them. And that's after I spent about 20 minutes trying to twist one of them off. Now, if you if you try and twist it off and it doesn't come off, chances are this thing's gonna, you know, it's gonna booger up your line a little bit. Then you can just cut the booger part off with this. Cause you're gonna want a smooth, you know, a smooth part of line. So you, whatever new fitting you put on there will seal like it's supposed to. <clears throat> but that's it. That's all you got to do. Now I switched mine out with a metal fitting that I got from Lowe's. I don't know the brand, but it, it's it got the screw on part right here for for water hoses or for your water lines instead of this crimped on crap. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. I wish I'd had a video like this when I was looking. I actually had to reach out to um, the manufacturer. I was quite frustrated when I did to find out what exactly I had to do to get this off because the only two videos I found all said that you can twist this, twist these lines off. That is incorrect. You can twist it off if it's a metal line, but nine times out of ten, if it's on that plastic line, you will not be able to twist this thing off. So in that case, you just need to cut it. And I found it was very quick and easy to cut it as long as you have the pipe and tube cutter. And like I said, this thing's only about nine bucks at Lowe's. So, hope you guys find this helpful, and I will see, talk to you, see you next time.